She could tell I miss you, girl, you preaching to the choir All them bitches finna hate, all you do is inspire Can't get you out of my, out of my mind I'm saying stop playing, girl, you out of Hey y'all, it's Chi Chi and I'm back with another video Today's video is about prom night And it's on a cigarette And I'm a smoker I am stop now, I gotta give y'all all the background information because I can't just tell y'all the story and then y'all don't know what happened in the back of it. Like, that's like half of the story. That's like telling you half of the truth. So, I gotta tell y'all the full truth because I know they're gonna be watching it too. I mean, they my little extra viewers that don't be really liking myself. So, I'm gonna have to tell y'all from the beginning to the end. So, basically, this is my eighth grade year. My eighth grade year was like, it was like a, a year full of blessings because I was doing so good academic wise and all that. I had so much friends. No, we got friends like that. But this what happened. I gotta give these girls names because I can't just say their names out like that. Uh, I ain't gonna spray their business out there either like that because I'm not that type of person. But I gotta find like names for them. So I'm gonna think of the first girl that I was close with when Brittany left the school. I'm gonna give her name as. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give her. Nah. Ooh, I'm gonna give her name. I don't know. Hold on. Ashley is like a real common name, so I'm gonna use Ashley. Ashley is the girl that I was close with. I'm gonna start off with Ashley. So, me and Ashley, just like how me and Brittany knew each other for so long, me and Ashley knew each other for so long because we went to the same middle school. So, mind you. Me and Ashley, like, we like bonding Clyde since Brittany left the school. And I ain't really had nobody to hang around with like that. Because the other girl I was friends with that me and Brittany was, used to be best friends with. Like, she was bi she bipolar. So she chose when she wanted to be friends with me. And I wasn't on that, you feel me? So me and um, Ashley was like Bonnie and Clyde. Then, Ashley, I see every time it's like a holiday or something, Ashley brings me in money, like. She legit be giving me like a hundred dollars. So I was confused. I was just like, okay, why this girl giving me so much money every time? Like, it could be Christmas, she'll give me a hundred dollars. Like, we'll go to the fair, she'll give me money. Like, she'll give everybody money. It don't matter who you is. You ask her, she give it. So I like that. What had happened was, one time me and Ashley was walking home, and I'm like, bro, where you get all this money from? Like, you always giving me money. Not saying I'm broke or nothing, because I ain't broke. Like, my people is wealthy. So I was like, where you getting the money from? Because I could use the extra cash, you feel me? So she like, oh, I get the money because da 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 Like, she told me the way she got it. I was like, oh, yeah, you brave like that. She was like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, now put me on, you feel me? So she put me on, and she used to do what she do. Whoop the whoop, that happened or whatever. So fast forward to prom or whatever. Like this is when we, we start going on like field trips and stuff at the end of the school year, like my middle school. At the end of the school year, they take you universal. And it was like the day before the trip or two days before the trip. And I see her like, she telling me, oh, Chi Chi, I need your help finding my prom dress. I was like, all right, you need to save because I already had my prom dress. My mom already had got me my prom dress. So I was like, you need to save and I got you. Like, I will take you wherever you want to go and we go get your prom dress. You know, being a good friend, cause I ain't flaky like that. Mind you, Brittany back at the school and I put Brittany on. I'm like, yo, I'm doing this and that. So like, we go to the mall, we go get this. So if you want some bread, I got you. And I used to get Brittany whatever she wanted or whatever. So like, she got slipped with me when I told her, like, I was like, you ordering all these people's stuff. Like, what they gonna get you back? Like, you telling me you need help with your prom dress, but you over here buying everybody cell phone cases for the bus and stuff. Like, what they, they can't charge their phone on the bus? What they need a whole the portable phone? They little, you know that thing that charge your phone? Like, what they needed all that for? And it was a lot of money. She was like, blowing money, like on like, two or three people. So I was like, that's you, because you the one that said you need your prom dress, and I already got mine, or whatever. So she getting an attitude, she getting slick. She got slick with me, and I was like, oh, I, I ain't finna have that, like, no. So I, I, I gave her a little comeback. I was like, but the, you the one that's spending your money. You don't have your prom dress. I got my prom dress, so you getting slick with me, that's that's all you, my G. Like, that, that, that don't care. I don't care. 
So I left or whatever and I came back. But it was a, she started trying to get friendly with me and I ain't on that, you feel me? So a few days passed, we we not really talking like that. She kinda iffy again like towards me. And it was this other girl. And I'ma use her name as what should I use her name as? I'm gonna use her name as Cassie, okay? So Cassie, all of a sudden, I guess she got put on of what Ashley was doing. So Cassie start probably talking in her head. I don't know. But like, we, we, I don't know. I feel like Cassie started talking in her head and it got to her. Like, all of a sudden, Ashley just started changing. So prom day come i'm getting dressed i'm like to be honest i don't care mind you i have always running for prom queen so i was kind of I, I had a lot of weight on me i was kind of scared because i was like bro if i don't win this is crazy because i was class president at all like how y'all not gonna vote y'all class president as prom queen it's just like dumb or whatever so me and my boy best friend, we go to prom together. The videos on my channel, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I'm a, matter of fact, I'm going to put it to where you can watch it after this. We go to prom. We was the grand interest. Everybody, like, was like, dang. Like, we, we, we muddied the scenes, basically. So, we go. We go sit down and all the live people at one table, which is my table. And we are sitting down, you know what I'm saying? And it's Britney over there. We, we me and my best friend, fine. I mean, you're like fine, fine. Like lemonade, fine. Like we was fine. Like it was just all types of crazy. Like we was fine because everybody wanted to take a picture with us, video of us. That like, was bro fine. So now we all we was dancing before, but now is the time where it's about to be the time for us to announce prom queen and queen. Mind you. The assistant principal was my track coach, so they felt like she cheated for me. But I'm like, hey, how how she gonna cheat? Like, I'm known. Everybody in my school know right a lot. So I was so bad in middle school. I improved, but I was so bad in middle school. Everybody in the sphere was so small, so everybody knew me. And I wasn't doing so much where I was like, I was bribing people to like to vote me so much. I was just. I was vibing. I was like, I'm just finna let people vote. I'm not finna just sit here and pressure you. Oh, vote me, vote me, vote me. Like, I'm just let you vote, you feel me? But the other candidates, that's what they was doing. So I guess people were just really voting me. They was like, I'm gonna vote her or whatever. Cause my track coach did not even like, she ain't change. She even said, she was like, I didn't change nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Like you won. The, the other girl that was behind, like sh the other girl, which is the one that's bipolar, I mean, what's, what, what's she? I'm gonna just call her bipolar. Bipolar, right? She was a few votes away from winning, but your girl won. So she got that L. Oh, bad. Oh, well, too bad. So sad. I can't fix it. I won. But right when she was saying, there was like, Jim Rowe, please, I was like, my heart dropped when she said, your prom queen is <laughs> she said my name i got her i swore my bundle to the side and i went to go get my crown now this this where i escalated that because when i went to go get my crown they was like all right the stage right here where you get your crown at and they was right there and they would start calling me out my name you know what i'm saying and it was like oh give give Ashley her dress back. And I was like, wait, hold on, what dress? Cause this dress that I got on right now, my mother brought me in. And if y'all, if they was talking about the dress on my birthday, she not getting that back because you gave me the money to buy it. So you should have never got finessed like that. And that's, that's on your, like, that's your bag. You shouldn't, you shouldn't let me know how you were jugging and stuff. Cause if you ain't like, if you ain't let me know, my OG would've got me my dress, but you let me know, you put me on, you gave me bread, and I brought my dress, you're not getting it back. You feel me? That, that, that was just plain and simple, period. So, there was this other girl, she's short and black, and I'm gonna call her short and black. Short and black, wanna feel like calling me a H, right from the, I see her calling me a H, and she's scared of me already, so it's like, why would you do that to you? Why, why would you put yourself in that predicament? That like, you know I'ma come after you. So, I ain't say nothing. I was just shaking. They announced the Palm King and my best friend didn't win, which I was mad. But it's okay. So, 
I went afterwards. I told Brittany to come to the table. She came. I was like, you didn't hear what they were saying? Because they showed up was disrespecting me. And she was like, I heard what you trying to do. I said, we sliding at the prom. Like, that's it. That's period. You're not going to call me out, out my name. And you're not going to tell me. And you, and I'm not going to do that. Like, no. Like, I'm going to do something about it. Because you're not about to call me out my name. And I texted my mom. I told my mom. I was like, mom, I'm going to fight. She said, whoop, they. Once my mom gave me that signal, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm on go. So, we come at the prom, me and Brittany plotting on them. Like, we just, we looking at them, letting them know, like, bruh, after this is done, it's over with. Like, y'all about to get whacked, like, in the head. So, I, we let them walk out first. I took up my heels. My auntie was outside. I started crying because I was like, I started getting mad. I'm like, bruh, if I'm going to put my hands on this girl right now, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Like, I need to do it now. Like, it's the moment because she called me on my name and she been trying me for too long. So, Brittany was like, bro, what you crying for? Like, she was yelling at me. And I'm, I'm already a crybaby. So, she was like, bro, what you crying for? You want me to go handle that? You want me to go handle that? Brittany was, I ain't say nothing, right? And Brittany just turned around, took her heels off, started walking. She gave it to one of the boys. She started, she ran up to her. I opened her door and I ran out my auntie car, right? When I ran out, I see Brittany in front of the girl and I try to like swing, but a boy picked me up and pulled me to the side. And then they want to lie, right? So me and Brittany just heard this side of the story where they want to lie and talk about some. One of them took out a, a heel and hit Brittany in the head with. That never happened. If y'all heard that side of the story, that never happened. Nobody hit nobody. like. When me and Brittany was getting ready to swing, everybody pulled us back because they know that they was about to get demolished. Like, she wanted to get so quiet when Brittany ran up to her. Like, Brittany said a few words to her, but, like, I couldn't. And my auntie, she came, she tried to break everything off, but I, I wanted to fight. Like, you're not going to try me because I want prom queen. Like, that's dead. That That's dead. And basically, that that's the story. Like, after that, they didn't even try us. Like, they, they didn't even look our way, like. They was just like, let's just stay out their way. How about that? <laughs> Cause me and Brittany, we was not playing. Like we gave them the meme every time they saw it was like, like you're not finna try me like that. Period. Especially cause actually like you in the wrong to be honest, because you the one that did something towards your family. And I'm not finna put nobody business out there. I'm not finna spray nobody. Even though like we had a whole conflict on Instagram where she was putting the messages out, it still don't matter. Like you at wrong. You was the one doing what you was doing. I wasn't taking money. You was. You was giving it to me. You was putting me on what you was doing. Like, I ain't had to physically go get the money. You was doing it for me. So, I felt like I should have explained what happened prom night because I keep hearing different stories. Like, people were telling me, oh, I heard what happened prom night and they saying this and that. No, that's not true. They lying. They almost got there behind a wolf. Like, what I wrote, oh my God, but Paula told she she had uh, messaged me talking about something. I stepped on her toe. I said, girl, bye. Like, get out of my face. I stepped on your toe. I was nowhere near you. I was I was going for short black girl. I was going for that short black girl. Like, I wanted her the most. That's who I wanted. That's the story of what happened on prom night. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments, like, and subscribe. The video of prom will be next video up. I'll put it right here. So y'all can go view it. Um, don't forget to watch the vi my latest video, which was a prank on Corey. Y'all go watch it. It's funny. Like he didn't fall for it, but it's funny when he was typing. So y'all go watch that. Uh, I love you, Mini Banks. See y'all Monday. I will be coming with a new video. Just, just be patient. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay consistent doing this. Y'all bear with me. Bye, I love y'all. Oh, been a minute. Since we kicked it, everything was going good And you start acting different, baby